<clears throat> Hold on. Shit. <laughs> Alex, it's Adam. Hey, you sound like shit. How you feeling? A little sore, but uh, I'll be all right. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I've been through worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so... I've gotta get checked out. But if you want a maid or... What? No. No, no, I'm fine, man. You can just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? <laughs> All right, I will. Talk to you soon.
Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. from persecution. This international civil engineering and action plan is the brainchild of Santo CEO, Nathaniel Brown. Its flagship project, a glittering engineered city named Rabia, is slated to be publicly unveiled at one of Brown's upcoming safe harbor conventions. I, for one, cannot wait to learn more. 
This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Tradition. Precision. Refinement. Stanek watches. It's about time. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed when an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident, that horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. I cannot speak for you folks, but terrifying memories of that day still haunt me. It will certainly be a while before any of us forget it. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Keeping you alive and clearing a way to your future. Proven, safe, versa life. Around the clock, around the world, Picus News. Always watching, because you are always watching. I know I am not the only one wondering what the Augmented Rights Coalition hopes to achieve, following news of yesterday's devastating attack in Prague. So let's hear from Dr. Talis Rucker, ARC's charmingly eloquent leader himself. What the non-augmented peoples of the world have failed to grasp is the incident was a tragedy for all. But it wasn't all of humankind who went crazy, Dr. Rucker. The loss of life on both sides was considerable, but instead of healing and dialogue, fear of the augmented has turned to hatred. Surely you cannot claim to be mistreated by governments when they have spent taxpayer money to build special living quarters for you and your kind. But when legislation forces augmented people out of their homes and into sequestered environments, there's no reason involved. Only fear and expedience. And that is why I moved to the Utelec complex. I thought you were forced to leave your native Germany. Were there not allegations that you... Those accusations were false. When I arrived in Prague... There was a terrorist bombing at a local church. But, but Ark had nothing to do with that. We are... A non-violent organization. Yes, yes, you said that. That was six months ago. Earlier today, the Ruzika train station fell victim to a bombing, the third to hit Prague in recent months. Is this really the face of a pacifist? Join the discussion online and let us know what you think. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Picus News, the global leader in fair, unbiased, and impartial reporting. And now for a close look at the events making headlines around the world. Here are our top stories. And now for a close look at events making headlines around the world. The impact of the AUG incident is still being felt two years after the fact. The fear, the hatred, the violence. In the northwestern United States, a group of non-augmented citizens armed with assault rifles have begun patrolling the streets of Lewistown, Montana. They claim the U.S. government is not doing enough to protect them from augmented crazies. In China, meanwhile, a group of protesters demanding freedom and basic human rights for all, regardless of augmented status, have been imprisoned by the Chinese government. In apparent retribution for that act, vigilante hackers tied to the Juggernaut Collective have crashed the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Yes, folks, these are troubled times indeed. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. The Santo Group. Construction, arcology, quality, excellence. Santo, restoring the past and building the future. No doubt many viewers were horrified by that story I brought to you last week, in which a suicide gunman ruthlessly attacked a small augmented community near Dar es Salaam. Today, I'm here to bring you a glimmer of hope. European-based construction giant, the Santo Group, has successfully convinced the Tanzanian government to become a signatory of its safe harbor. This in...
Adam! Thanks for calling me back, son. Seraph. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job. Part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? What do I want? Jeez, Adam! I know I did some questionable things in the past, but... A lot's happened in the last two years. To both of us. You've obviously landed on your feet, though. Unlike a lot of other people. I've been lucky. I almost died in Panchea waiting for the rescue teams to dig me out. And I lost a lot of time after recovering from my injuries. You went back to Detroit, you saw what happened to Seraph Industries. I gotta look at it, briefly. Humanity was afraid of the potential we offered, and they lashed out. Broke into the building, stole what they could, and burned the rest. Those vultures at Tai Young Medical gobbled up what was left. Sometimes a dream has to die so a new one can rise from the ashes. You talked to Pritchard lately? Frank! <laughs> Out of all of us, I think he's the one who's changed the least. He'd probably tell you there wasn't anything about him that needed changing. I'm sure he would. But when the world transforms itself the way ours has, people need to adapt or get left behind. Frank's freelance now, but he's still in computer security, still in Detroit. I don't know if he'll ever leave. You heard anything from Megan? <sighs> After all we went through, I thought she'd stand by me. Still, you know, she always wanted to be at the cutting edge. She didn't see a future for herself in Detroit, so she went to VersaLife. She moved to Hong Kong? San Francisco. They've got an offshore research facility there named Rokaseka Beach. I'm sure you've seen it in the news. California, huh? I wonder if she's told her mother. You want my advice, son? Write her out of your life. Because I'm damn sure she's written us out of hers. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip? Or is this tied to the new dream? I'm, uh, meeting with the Santo group. Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia. The walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs. B is just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented, for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday... You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I, I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it, really. Goodbye, Seraph.
As you wish. I'll keep you safe. As you wish. But remember, homeowner, this poses a substantial security risk. Oh yeah! You know, before that little musical interlude there, I was talking about some serious shit. So let's keep going. First of all, let me get this out of the way when talking about the AUG incident. I've always hated that time. Incident? Incident? Steve using the head after eating three burritos and forgetting to light a match. That's an incident. What happened that fateful day in 2027? It's beyond terror any of us has ever seen. AUG incident? Try AUG Travis. Try AUG Massacre. How about AUG Armageddon? Because that's where we're headed. It's Jensen. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my AUGs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in.